Hi, you guys, and welcome back to Shashan Family. I got my girl Morgan. As you can see, I parted her scalp all the way around. I already had started on her braids. These are some medium knotlies with some wavy hair. Um, It's a nice look. Um, So, yeah, I'm showing you that I already started um, and I already part her scalp off. So, I'm going to do a couple braids so you all could see exactly what I am doing. So, right now, I am taking out some of her edges because she likes edges. I'm going to part her scalp. I am also putting the jam in between her parts. The jam on your parts help you to see the parts and help you to make clean parts. Um, and I'm going to start the individual braid for the knot list. So you're going to take three sections of hair and put them between your fingers. I braid some at the root, like that is her edges, so I went on and braided like one, two, then I added one. I'm going to add another one. And then I add another one. Most times I use three pieces. Sometimes I will use four if I see the braid um, is kind of thin or Depending on the size, I just try to make sure that they're all the same size. Use your jam as needed. As well, if you have any flyaways or hair sticking out, you can use your jam on that part, the um end of the hair, to make it blend in with the client's hair. As you can see, my client is natural, but she did um hot comb her hair out with a blow dryer. So it was straight enough for me to do her knotless. Now I'm adding the wavy hair in. As you can see where I'm adding the wavy hair in. Now let me give you guys a tip. When adding the wavy hair in, you don't want it at the same, um, you don't want it in the same spot at every braid. Because then you're going to have a head full of wavy hair just in this spot. Basically what I do is I add some at the end like, not all the way at the end, unless they want wavy hair at the end, but she wanted straight hair at the end. Just wavy hair in between her braids so it can look fuller and a curly look as well as her braids. But, like, you see the angle that I have where I have the wavy hair in now. Um, sometimes I do it right by them just to fill up this space. But most of the times I add in the next braid, like, either higher or... Or lower the wavy piece. Just so when the head is done in the full. That it all be full. And it all looks wavy. Um, also you don't want to add the hair. The wavy hair in the middle. In every braid. Because at the end of her hair. She's not going to have. Um, wavy hair at the end of her hair. Um. It's just going to be in the middle. And you want it to reach the end of her hair as well. And I'm going to show you on other braids too. I use um, nail glue to seal off my ends. I do also knot the ends. But um, nail glue is better. Don't use too much. All it takes is a dab and done. Now I am starting on another braid that I already have parted. I'm combing it out. You see how her hair is going straight through? Although she is very natural. This, the state you want your hair in at least. And I love it. And I'm going to get her right. So right now, remember I told you I'm braiding a little. Before I add the extensions. And I'm adding the extensions. And you can see her hair is kind of fuzzy than the actual hair that I'm putting in her head. So this one I go in with the jam again. 
lay it on her real hair to make it blend in. So she can have a nice, neat, clean braid. And people ask me a lot, like, how do I know how to keep the braids the same size? Um, I just go by eye measuring. I've been doing this for a long time. So I really go by eye measuring. I just eye and see. And then as I'm braiding, when I see that it's slight thinner or bigger, I remove her or add. So that's basically all you're doing. Now, as you can see, I am adding another wavy part in her hair. You need something to connect it to. To hold the wavy hair because if you don't hold it by chin, mouth, or like her hair or in the comb, it will slide and it will not be in the place it need to be and it won't be neat. See me showing you like it can be in a comb as well while you're braiding. That is another method of how you can also hold the hair. Or you can take a clamp and slide it in their hair and then put the wavy hair in the clamp and continue to braid. Look at that braid. Isn't it neat? Yes, I'm getting my girl right. It's her birthday. So, we're slaying my girl Morgan. I'm going to repeat the same steps. Braid her hair down. Tap the end of her hair with nail glue to lock her in. And as you see, I still left her wavy hair. I mean, her um, edges out on that braid. I don't know why I'm looking crazy. <laughs> I'm looking at that braid, that camera love. You're going to doubt. I dapped it twice, but if I dapped it twice, that mean um, it probably didn't come out um, the first time. Okay, so, yeah. This cute period. Let me be showing off my hair, Lord. Okay. So, basically, on this braid, you see me still adding the um, jam to the hair. And I am adding the wavy hair right now on this part. I'm going to add the wavy hair. Yep, correct. So I'm adding the wavy hair up above. As you can see, this is what I mean. You see how the other two braids are lower with the wave? I am adding this hair higher, the um, wavy hair higher with the braid. Because I am... um. See, I wrapped it just around her hair or whatever. And you see how it slid a little bit? See how it's sliding? And I have to reposition it. That's what I mean when you need your hair or your braid to connect to something. The wavy part so it won't slide. Because it'll never actually go in the braid and lock in place. Also, as well, this is me showing you like... um. You see that I'm adding the hair higher in this braid than that braid. You see I'm showing you. This is just keep her hair full in all different levels. Like I was saying, if you keep adding it in the same spot in every braid, it'll just be full in this section. And you want your head full all over in different spots. Not too full because you don't want the wavy to take over your braids. And then, of course, the wavy hair gets nappy before your braids just really gets old. So, you don't want to use too much hair. This is a tip. You don't want to put the hair in the exact same spot. Yeah. So, now, I'm just going to let you guys keep watching as I continue the process. Um, everywhere 
on her edges that they need to be left out. I'm sorry if I sound a little funny. Um, I just woke up and needed to get this video out. Um, someone requested and asked me why I haven't been doing more here um, videos. And this is what I came to do to bring you guys more hair videos. Um, she's tired and ready to be done. So um, we're going to slay her and get her ready. And this didn't take long. I want to say like four um, and a half hours to me to complete this process. And I will show you guys the length and everything um, once I'm done. And we will go outside for you guys to get um, better light. And for you all to be able to see um, the full look of her hair. So, yeah, stay tuned. Yes, get a whiff of this. Look how neat her hair is and pretty. Look at those edges. Look at the ends after they've been dipped. Look at it. Yes, honey, you is slaying, Miss Morgan. See how her hair is full with the wavy, but not too much. Yes, thanks for watching.